Hey folks, this is the fourth video in my series on automating Google Slides presentations using Google Apps Script. In our previous videos, which are linked up in the playlist in the description, we learned how to create a new slides presentation using Slides app. We removed the template slide, so we had a blank presentation. We created a folder where we wanted to store our slides. We generated a logic system that would allow us to ease development by deleting the previously created slide so that the newly created slide is the only file in our folder drive. In this video, we are going to finish off our deck creator function, and then we are going to start building our slide creator function, which will add a new slide into our presentation. We are going to resume within our creator deck function at the very bottom. So we should have a line in here that says move the slide deck into the folder where we are using drive app .get files by ID. And then we are using the deck ID variable that we declared on line 11 to move the file into our folder drive, which is referencing a variable or a constant that we declared in our IDs file called folder underscore parent ID. This is going to be very simple. We're going to hit enter twice. We are going to go to the left once and we are going to um, add a return statement. We're going to hit enter and we are going to declare return and then we are going to pass the deck ID. We're going to add a semicolon, and then for good measure, we're going to add in logger.log. The deck has been moved to the parent folder. And you know, we're going to actually copy that. We're going to delete it. We're going to go up above our comment, and we're going to add it in there. We're going to add a semicolon and we are going to hit save. So now we've com completed our creator deck function and we can use it with this new function that we're creating called creator slide. Now, the reason that we're going to be able to use it is because we'll have this return statement that will give us our deck ID. So we'll be able to append a new slide to the deck using the deck ID. So we're gonna go up to the files menu and we're going to add a new script file and we're going to call this slide funk 2 with a colon and then we're going to say slide capital C creator. Now it doesn't matter what syntax you use up here. The reason that I structure my file directory like this is because I like being able to use this uh, sort files alphabetically option. That way all of the uh, related functions are near one another so that when I'm bug correcting, I'm not jumping all around and not able to easily find where my logic exists. I'm going to be deleting the boilerplate and I'm going to add in the word function and then I am going to say creator capital S slide and I'm going to have an empty parentheses for now. I'm going to go to the right, I'm going to hit space, I'm going to add a pair of curly brackets. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to add two slashes for a comment, and I am going to say deck and slide creation. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit tab, and I'm going to add logger.log, open parentheses, single quote, and I'm going to add three asterisks. That way I understand that a function is creating, is being, uh, is being activated. I'm going to add in another logger.log. I'm going to add another set of single quotes. And I am going to say um, slide is being created. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to hit the left arrow twice. And then I'm going to add uh, a set of slashes for a comment. And I am going to say uh, create, uh, sorry, open the created deck. I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to declare a variable called um, 
deck capital I D. I'm going to set that equal to creator deck, and then I'm going to have an open parentheses. So this creator deck function is what we created in our slide funk 01 deck creator um, file. So I'm going to add a single quote there. And then just so that you can see what's happening, I'm going to do logger.log, and I'm going to pass deck ID, and I'm going to go to the right, and I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to save my project. I'm going to hit run. You can do this if you want to. So you can see that we now are getting some logging in here that says slide is being created, which is what ran up top here, right? So you can see we have those three asterisks. Then we're getting slide is being created. Then we're getting three more asterisks because the deck is being created because we're calling this creator deck function, which means our creator slide inherits all of the actions that are built into the creator deck function. You can see we're getting some feedback here that says, if you see this, then the old deck was deleted. That's because of that optional logic system that I have in there that automates the deletion of a deck every time creator deck is ran while in development. You can see that we have that other feedback that says the deck has been moved to the parent folder. And then you can see we're getting this alphanumeric value here which is the deck ID. The reason that that's what's being returned is because we just established return logic in deck creator that says every time this function is called return the deck ID. So we have one DMGN. We're going to go to our decks folder. We're going to hit refresh because I have an old file in there from 115. You can now see it's 125. So we successfully deleted that old file and now we have a new deck that was created and you can see up top here in the url that we have an id or a deck id of 1dm capital g we go back in here 1dm capital g you can see that that is the value that was being passed into this creator deck function now that we have the deck id we're able to use it to append new slides to the deck. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, remove, actually, you know what? We're going to keep that logging in there. So we're going to hit enter twice, left arrow twice, two slashes, and we are going to say um, open the deck using its ID. So we're going to hit enter, we're going to hit tab, and we're going to declare a variable called deck. And we're going to set that equal to slidesapp.openById. We're going to have an empty parentheses that takes a, a single parameter of an ID structured as a string. So because we're going to be using a variable, we do not need to have single quotes. All we need to do is pass in the deck ID variable name. We're going to go to the right and we're going to add a semicolon. So what's happening now is we are going every time we run the creator slide function, we'll run the creator deck function, which will generate a deck ID, which we are saving to a variable called deck ID. We are then going to use slides app and we are going to open the ID using the deck ID variable. Now that we have opened the deck ID, we have the ability to add, remove, do whatever. So we are going to hit enter twice. We're going to hit the left arrow twice, and we are going to append, or yeah, we're going to append a slide into the deck. We're going to hit enter, we're going to hit tab, and we're going to declare a variable called slide, and we're going to set that equal to deck dot append capital S slide, and we're going to pass an empty parentheses in there because we don't want to use any arguments yet, and we're going to add in a semicolon. We're going to save our project, and we're going to hit run. You can see that we're getting feedback about the slide creation, the deck creation, the deletion of the old deck, that the new deck has been moved into the parent ID, and you can see we now have a new uh, deck ID being passed in because we created a new deck. So we're going to go back to our decks folder. I'm going to hit refresh because I'm still seeing that 125 file in here. You can see we have a new file that was created. Uh, four minutes into the future, we're going to open it up. 
you can see that we have that new deck ID in here. And you'll also notice that instead of having a blank presentation with no slides, we now have one slide. So we have successfully created or appended a new slide into our deck. And that's where we're going to conclude for today. In the next video, we are going to learn how to insert shapes so that we can add text and stylize it within our slides uh, presentation. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to catch up on anything that we've done in the past or that we'll be doing in the future, please check out the description where the playlist to this video series is linked. Please reach out if you have any comments or questions. I love hearing from you. And I hope I'll check you. Uh, I hope you'll check out the next.